Hi, and welcome to this section of the tutor where we're going to switch gears and we're going to talk about another topic that's really, really important, and that's the topic of percents. You've probably heard about uh, percents. You know, somebody says on the weather, on the TV, or something like that, on the news, like there's a 40% chance of rain tomorrow, or there's a 10% chance of rain tomorrow, or there's a 100% chance of rain tomorrow, something like that. Um, you know, uh, and, and that's something that's all around us, and it's something that's important for us to know. So the question is, what is a percent? What does it mean when we say that there's a 50% chance of rain tomorrow, okay? The thing to remember is the word percent means per 100. Cent is, a, is kind of a French word. It means 100. So percent means something compared to 100. That's kind of what it means. So when someone says 50% or 60% or 30% or 10% or something like this, all they're doing is they're taking a number and they're comparing it to 100. And that kind of gives you a feeling for, for um, you know, how close something is to 100. And it's a useful comparison to make. So let's go ahead and figure out by doing some work on the board what percent really is and what it means to us. Okay, so the thing to remember is percent, okay, percent, that's how you say percent, is just simply comparing a number to 100, to the number 100. That's all it means, okay? So to take an example of that, somebody might say 10% or something like this. So they would write 10 and then put this little symbol over here, and that means percent, 10%, okay? Now the question is, what does it mean, okay? Now what I told you already is that percent is comparing a number to 100. So when you write down 10%, all you're doing is you're writing, you're saying 10 compared with 100, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to write that down in a way that we're going to be able to see what we're talking about. So I'm going to write the 10 down here. Okay, and uh, I'm going to write 100 down underneath it, okay? So I'm going to write a fraction down, okay, because what we're doing here is anytime you have 10%, what it means is 10 in comparison to 100. So I'm just going to write the 10 on the top and the 100 on the bottom because those are the two numbers that I'm interested in, 10 compared to 100. Now if you just think about it in your head here, 10, the number 10, isn't too close to 100, okay? 10 is pretty far away from 100. 50 is much closer to 100. 75 is even closer to 100. 99 is really, really close to 100. So all you're doing is you have this sliding, the scale here. Here is 0 and here is 100. And when you express a percent, you're just figuring out where in the middle you are with respect to 100. And we'll see why that's useful here in a minute. But for now, we're going to write this as a fraction, 10 compared to 100. And I'm going to put it, uh, put it as a fraction there. Now, just like with any fraction, you can simplify this fraction. Okay? You can simplify this fraction. This is a fraction that can be simplified. You can divide the top by 10, and you can divide the bottom also by 10. And that will simplify this fraction. 10 divided by 10 gives you 1. And 100 divided by 10 gives you 10. Okay? So... 10%, okay, is the same thing basically as 10 over 100, okay, but I can simplify that to 1 over 10, okay. Now, if you go back and look at the section on um, divide, dividing uh, uh, decimals or dividing fractions, you could set up a division here, okay. You could say 1, and I can divide 10 into it. This is 1 divided by 10. That's what a fraction is, 1 divided by 10. And I could do this 